Beijing is full of magnificent ancient buildings with many characteristic features, such as the use of dogong structure, which is similar to mortise and tannin. These buildings are a testament to the wisdom of the ancient woodworkers. There were very strict requirements to become a recognized woodworker. The xiabai, which is made of a single piece of wood, and the luban lock, which is made of a number of pieces, are truly miraculous creations. Li Wentao is feeling a little anxious under the blazing sun. He's a master woodworker living in a village of Niyuan County, Beijing. And this morning, he's preparing for a very important ceremony. <laughs> Lee is very particular about the wood he uses. He only uses mature hardwood, such as elm and the wood must be aged over five years. The wood must also be free of cracks and have a smooth texture. And these are only the basic requirements. Li Wintow is 68 this year. Generations of his family have been woodworkers. His specialty is making a very rare object known as a xiabai. The so-called xiabai is a stool when it's opened up, or a pillow when it's folded together. Some that were carved with decorations were used as gifts. Because it was said to be invented by the ancient master carpenter Lu Ban, it's also known as a Lu Ban pillow. It's made out of a single piece of wood with no nails or glue. Making one requires skill in sawing, chiseling, planing, and carving a very specific kind of wood. The worst thing that can happen to the wood is cracking. So Li Wentao must first process the wood to prevent that from happening. A few years ago, Li Wentao saw a business opportunity related to tourism in Niyuan County. He started making Xiaobai as a profitable tourist souvenir. After a rain, Li Wentao likes to take a walk to the farm plot he manages. He planted apricot trees on this plot, but he doesn't have much time to work on it, so the yield has been low in recent years.
Li Wantao has grown more obsessed with making Xiaobai as he's grown very profitable, but he still hopes he can pass on his skill to the next generation. <laughs> Aside from making wooden articles like Lu Ban locks, Yao Yuju also works as a part time teacher. His students today are American born Chinese students. Year after year, American born Chinese youth come to China seeking their roots. <laughs> Lubansuo 突出部分叫榫,也叫榫頭,往裡凹這個部分叫什麼呢?叫毛,也叫毛眼,那故宮裡的那個房檐都是他們用這個榫和毛衔接到一起的。這個是這樣放的。The technique of making a Luban lock embodies a profound mystery of ancient architecture. Many students are puzzled by it, just as it used to puzzle Yao. Yao Yujie's workshop is located in a residential neighborhood in Beijing. Every time he has a new design idea, he comes here to develop it. When Yao Yujie came back after studying abroad over a decade ago, he became totally captivated with the Lu Ban lock. He quit his job and came to Beijing from Harbin to make traditional educational toys like the Luban lock. The wood for a Luban lock must have a uniform texture with no cracks. Yao Yuju picks out a long piece of wood that is nearly the same height and width. The length of the wood should be four times the width. The wood is marked and cut into pieces. The middle part is removed from the two pieces to make mortar screws. On the last one, we make an L-shaped tenon groove. The sketch seems simple, but getting the size and angle right is critical. If they're just a little off, the mortise and tenon joints won't fit together right. Something suddenly goes wrong. The groove on the third wooden stick is not right. When Yao Yuji measures again, he quickly finds the problem. We did 
家吧，觉得是心情挺大，没心思见。Li Haolin, Li Wentao's oldest son, works downtown. He usually comes back to the village to visit his parents on weekends. Li Haolin has no idea that he's about to be tested. Li Wentao's wife has been cooking in the kitchen since early this morning in preparation for their son's visit. Now that their son is home, Li Wentao's wife is very happy, but Li Wentao seems nonplussed. 啊、Li Wentao can't have a conversation without talking about his obsession. As soon as the dishes are on the table, he starts talking about the Xia Bai. Li Wentao's been planning a traditional ceremony for the completion of his son's apprenticeship for a long time. Li Wentao's son always assists his father when he's on vacation, but he has never made a xia bai on his own. Li Wentao hopes this weekend his son will give him a satisfactory answer. Yao Yuzhu has managed to buy an apartment in Beijing with the money he's made by selling traditional educational toys like the Luban lock. <laughs> Yao Yuzhu feels he owes his wife a lot since they once had to live separately. He wants to design a special gift for his wife using the Chinese mortise and tenon technique. His wife is on a month-long business trip, so he's decided to use the opportunity to carry out his plan. But Yao Yuzhu has yet to finish his Luban lock. He's made a small error, but it doesn't deter him. Yao Yuzhu adjusts the size of the grooves to resolve the problem caused by the measuring error. The secret to assembling and disassembling the Luban lock is the cylinder. Using the L-shaped tenon groove as the base, put it together with the cylinder shape. Then push the last groove piece in so that its groove connects with the groove on the other side. To ensure that it fits together well and works smoothly, Yao Yuzhu repeatedly assembles and disassembles the Luban lock. The success of the three-piece Luban lock makes Yao Yuzhu very excited and confident. He begins working on new designs. Making a piece of furniture with the same technique is naturally a greater challenge. After lunch, Li Wentao goes to the workshop with his son. Li requires that the pieces be cut very precisely with smooth surfaces. Li Haolin officially starts working on the challenge according to his father's requirements. After marking the wood and making the grooves, Li Haolin makes a cut one third of the height off the two strips in the middle of the front. Then comes the crucial stage of the process. 
It is critical to be sure you can see a little light around the movable part. There's a technique for disguising this gap if you don't want it to show. Li Haolin divides the middle part of the woodblock with the groove into seven equal sections on both sides of the groove. These are the movable parts. With Li Wentao at his side, Li Haolin boldly puts his idea into action. He chisels out every other marked section at about 45 degrees on one side and does the same to the remaining sections on the other side. The result is that where it's chiseled out on one side, it is solid on the other. This is how the gaps are hidden. After he finishes processing the front and back, he saws off one third of the height on the intact side. This is the beginning of a shabai. The next step is to cut through the connecting part of what is left after sawing with a wire saw. It requires the greatest patience and care. This is the beauty of a xiaobai. It looks like the parts are separated, but they're actually connected. Li Haolin has been very careful with every single step. Once this last step is finished, the pillow top itself is finished. After the successful first step, Li Haolin continues. He's decided to finish the rest of it. It's afternoon and the people in the Imperial Ancestral Temple have left. Yao Yuju has come here to do some research. Every time Yao Yuju wants to design something, he visits ancient buildings for reference. Buildings in the Imperial Ancestral Temple are all masterpieces of ancient carpentry based on Chinese tannin and mortise joints. Yao Yuju hopes he can learn more about the different joints used in their construction. When Yao Yuju gets home, he starts creating a design sketch on the computer. Yao Yuju has been spending more time on design and R&D work in recent years, contracting with a factory for the actual manufacturing. He's become very skilled computer. He wields the mouse expertly, gradually creating the design. As the date for his wife's return grows near, Yao Yuju is getting excited. He's been working overtime to create a design for a unique piece of furniture. Although Li Haolin has been working over four hours straight, Li Wendao hasn't told him it's time to take a break. After opening up the pillow top of the Xiaobai, the two sides that join together still need to be processed. The process for making these parts is similar to that for making the top part, but the smaller size makes it more difficult. More than just a test of skill, it's also a test of endurance. When Li Wentao sees that his son is getting tired, he decides to step in and assist him. A Chinese saying advises that a father should fight alongside his son in a war. Li Haolin is less on edge with Li Wentao's participation. Their close cooperation also speeds up progress.
It has taken Li Haolin a whole day's work to complete construction of his first Xiaobai. <laughs> his wife is coming back today, so Yao Yuji goes to the express service early in the morning. The package contains something that Yao Yuju designed himself. When he gets home, his wife is cooking in the kitchen. Yao Yuju decides to continue carrying out his secret plan. In the living room, he carefully assembles the parts of his creation. Every corner is a movable Lu Ban lock. Lee Wintel's son has successfully made a Xiaobai, and this success puts the old woodworker's mind at ease. Recently, a friend of his asked him to look into making a Chinese zither, known as a guqin, for profit. Yao Yuju's wife is very pleased with his successful design of the nightstand. In addition, he's been presented with a business opportunity. He's decided to continue his R&D work to make furniture with mortise and tenon joints. He wants more people to appreciate this traditional wisdom. Woodworking embodies a great amount of wisdom. Woodworkers carry on this wisdom through their hands. This combination of wood and wisdom is creating new miracles in Beijing. Mankind has all issue beauty. Beautiful decorations and art are created by the hands of skilled workers. In the ancient capital of Beijing, ordinary people are pursuing beauty their own way. With their skilled hands, they're prospering and they're creating a glorious future. They're also creating wonderful exemplars of their craftsmanship.